difficulty 5. Okay, so I do have perception. Mm -hmm. Okay, then difficulty 4. Nope. This door is way more interesting. Yeah, like the keypad makes buttons, uh, makes noises when you push it. And just coincides with all the noise that's going down. <laughs> Man, do these buttons sound weird? They sound like laser guns to me. Oh. <laughs> Every button push is like a... Oh, ping, ah, mm. ah, wait, you, you rolled, I didn't see. Uh, so yeah, it's... I did, I failed. No, so, yeah, you you didn't hear, like, there there's a <laughs> lot of noise coming from this, like, things, uh, machines the, around you, like you don't really notice anything strange right now. Uh, Theo, what are you doing? You're now closed inside of this uh, computer room. Uh, motor, I need you to turn off the power three rooms away from here. Turn off the power. Why? Why do you want me to do that? Uh, because there's a lot of uh, stray electrical wire. It's very dangerous. Very deadly. Hmm. So I just need you to shut down an isolated section of the complex. I have a problem. I have a problem. I cannot. Uh, my sensors are uh, non-functional, so it's going to be really hard for me to pinpoint the place you want me to turn the power off. Okay, you remember how there's a room connected to this room? Yes. Okay. You can you you can detect that room? Mm, no. No, but you I know it's actually... there. Yes, I know that there is a room like that. Okay, and you know how there's an intersection just past of that room? I, my sensors are just not feeling that. But you know it's, it's there. I, I know theoretically that it is there. Okay, yes. theoretically, you know that right across from that, there's another hallway. Theoretically, you know that that's true, right? Yes. I need you to shut down power in those theoretical rooms in that hallway. Hmm. Now, you don't need your sensors to confirm that it exists, and you don't need your sensors to know that it's there. You know theoretically that it's there. I just need you to send the command that would theoretically shut off those rooms if they theoretically existed. I will try to do this. And let's see if she succeeds. So I would say she has maybe 50% chance of succeeding. So on the higher one. Nope. She, she, I'm not able to do this, Theo. Uh, Theo? What's, what's the name of your character? Uh, she would not know the Does she know the name of your character, do you think? I would have no idea. <laughs> I would have forgotten even if she did. No, she does not know. She just says... Oh, yeah, you remember? We covered this. She knows everybody else. She doesn't know who the hell I am. Yeah, that's, that's right. Despite all my claims to be in charge of this complex. Although the computer didn't know who I was. No, her, her sensors are busted. She don't even know who she's speaking with. So she, she does not refer to any name or something. Right, but previously, last session... Uh... She specifically indicated that she had no idea who I was, despite uh, recognizing the other two. Okay, so then she don't know. Uh, so she just responds, uh, 
I cannot uh, comply to your uh, request. I tried, but I cannot pinpoint okay. this place, even with your uh, keen description. Perhaps Can you, you want to try it manually. Well, one more, one more mental trick. Let's see if uh, you could do this. Can you shut down the power to every every room on this floor except for this room? No, I cannot comply with that because this would endanger the clones. Can you set the mass command to shut down every room that's not uh, connected to a clone chamber? Negative. I cannot do this. But I can offer you... Perhaps you can try to manually turn off the power. Okay, where is that? Oh, you wouldn't know where that is. No, I can give you... I can, uh... Theoretical directions? No, I can provide you the console. And holographically in front of you appears a console. You don't really understand it very much, but, uh... Do I not? Is it not technically Numenera? It is Numenera, yeah. <laughs> and I understand Numenera. Okay. So there is a console and you can try to operate it. She gives you the possibility to... Well, what's the difficulty? And difficulty would be, again, difficulty... Uh, five. And, um, I guess operating the terminals on the doors, that's not quite the same thing, huh? And no, no, sorry. Alright, well, skill training would turn that down to a difficulty four. That's right. Uh, I'll spend three intellect to make that a, uh, difficulty three. Okay. I will spend two more intellect on the previously mentioned uh, late inspiration. Okay, great. Wow, I got one more trick up my sleeve. The one I haven't used yet. Non-casual. I... Oh, you know what? Actually, that would have uh, decreased the difficulty, but a three still would have failed there. Uh, Non-casual. I'm going to go back five seconds in my own timeline. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. This is going to increase the difficulty on my next task after this, but I can still use all the modifiers on this one. Okay, great. Uh, see, so that would have turned the three into a two uh, difficulty for the the last one that I used. I didn't include that, but I'm assuming that would have been six or greater, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. It's okay. Good. So the three still would have failed. All right, so wow. <laughs> no, this not it's not your day. Uh, no, no, you. I went so hard the... on that one. Yeah, with all your tries, you cannot do this. This is you. You can see why. Wait, this wait! Is I have so one hard. more thing. <laughs> I have forgotten to do something at the beginning of the session, and I only have to ask now: Is it something I can apply? I have a flex skill because okay. I'm a jack. Yeah, I know. Yes. Yeah, so you, what you want to know? What you want to skill up? For this. I mean, what would this be? Uh, maybe Hack Numenera? Sure. Okay, so you... Because that would, that could reduce me down to a simple, right? Yeah, that would... Uh, no, like, I think you cannot have more than two assets. So still, you use Ah, you have one asset, right? Right. Which was uh, understanding Numenera, and then you have hack Numenera, then your new skill, which is, removes it to two, which would be now three. Uh, so from five to three. 
Uh, no, I got down to standard. Um, wait, are you... Okay, hold on. Either way, I failed. If this doesn't get me any... If the flex skill doesn't get me any bonuses, then I failed all the way. If, if you use two uh, you can have, like, maximum two assets. Every time, like, you cannot have more than two assets. Like, two skills, two assets. Two... Let's see, hold on. Then okay. we were at... We started at five. I spent intel intellect to get it down to four. Uh, we said the uh, the door skill was that still was that applying to me? No, no. No. Okay, then uh, I had an asset on the late inspiration that brought me down to three. Uh, and then shit, something else got me down to two, and now I simply can't remember it. So it doesn't matter then. Even I was stretching to get the two, and I still failed to get there, so... No. So yeah, I have failed three times, all in the span of five seconds. So you try, you, you try your best, you press the virtual keys in this, on this hologram, but nothing happens. Or Do maybe like, this something is my... happens. I feel like this is my first failed roll in two uh, sessions now, and I failed three times in a row. <laughs> yeah. It all comes back. Okay, so back to you, Griffin and Joser. Well, we can't get through this, and I guess we could ask Theo for help. Uh, we could also just go back to the cafeteria for now. Take a short break, maybe. I'm still not feeling that great. Uh, All right. Uh, so I think we could go there, and uh, I could do a ten-minute recovery. Okay. So you start walking towards cafeteria, and you enter the cafeteria. The Luke. door. Sorry. You enter the cafeteria, but to your great surprise, the there is no power in the cafeteria. The lights are off. Huh. Well, that's weird. And another thing that you see uh, the corridor to to the west, it still, it still has some light, and far away to the other side of the corridor, you see this uh, soldier ant lion and another smaller ant lion standing, kind of clinging to one side of the wall, like Spider-Man-like, you know, like uh, half... Yeah, the, the same one we saw before, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, with this gun in his hand, they're both looking at the door that, you know, is leading to the computing room. Mm -hmm. But now this door is closed and uh, Theo is nowhere to be seen. This two creatures though are not looking at you and they didn't notice you right maybe that way because seems a of the dangerous. darkness yeah although you now know that like Theo is nowhere to be seen and there is a uh, darkness in, inside of this small room mm -hmm. in the inside of the cafeteria Oh, I think I know where he might have gone. He might have gone to the electricity for him. You think so? He, he was reckless. Hmm. I still don't like the idea of getting closer to that one, though. I committed an electric, a uh, magnetic field that will shield us from electricity. Maybe. We should probably do some more looking around before we try uh, poking them again. Uh, and I still want to take a quick break here. Uh, so I'll go ahead, find a nice little corner to sit against the wall, and uh, just sort of take a break. Ten minutes. Okay, we'll do ten minutes. I will as well. Uh, ten minutes is kind of long time, and while you sitting there, you see these two uh, creatures kind of walking around this corridor uh, <clears throat> with excited uh, intent and after some time 
it appears to you that they're starting to walk back towards uh, to start to walk towards the cafeteria but then suddenly they turn around and walk inside uh, towards the room where you know there is another hole and they disappear there interesting so they've kind of retreated then as far as you can see okay like something called them like they, they it, it it seemed to you like they got some uh message or some unseen order to do this uh so let's see would that conclude the uh 10 minute portion of the break yes all right i'll go ahead and make the roll now then okay great what do you roll so i'm going to put five points back into might uh you're just rolling a 1d6 there's a button on the sheet where it says recovery yeah. rolls it's also where you keep track of which uh, recovery things you've already taken Oh, I haven't even taken my actual one yet. So I can just do that just you before the 10-minute one. Yeah, you can. Or you can do both. Mm -hmm. if you want. I thought you did when we did. No. I hadn't used up enough of my pulls yet, so I decided not to. But now I have used up some of my pull, and I think it's a good So, uh... Does it mean to get six back? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, that leaves me with uh, two left that I could get that I don't really need, and a ten-minute recovery will still to do when I want it. So I'll just keep it for now. Okay, great. Well, it looks like they're gone out of the corridor. We could always go down there and knock on uh, knock on the control room, see if he's in there. Yeah. Okay, so Certainly you... Certainly you couldn't open the door. Yeah, you get up and you start knocking on the control room door. Mm-hmm. You, Theo, you hear the knocking. Try to open it. Do okay. you guys say anything? Theo! Are you in there? Yeah. I can't open doors. I'm going to need you to do it if you're in there. Yeah, hold on one second. <laughs> well, I mean, it's important you say something, because you remember, I just yeah, ran yeah. past two ant lines, so I might not think it's somebody knocking. Yo. <clears throat> uh, Motor, can you open the door? Yes, of course. And the door opens. And while you're at oh. it, can you also bring up a schematic on your sensors and how to repair them? Oh yes, this would be this would be great if you can do this. Perhaps you could also look for some tools if you didn't find them. I swear to she... God. Oh, remember, I, now I remember. Remember I had the thing full of knives and forks and everything that I've been using as makeshift tools? That we got yes. from the cafeteria, yeah. So I have makeshift tools. In that way that when you're fixing, like, a light or something and you can't find a screwdriver, so you use a butter knife. Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> of course you have this, but this would not be, like adequate tools to use. Yeah, you might need something this. more specialized in some cases. Yeah. Well, we deal with the problems that lie before us, not the problems that we... Right. Uh, well, at least this explains where you were. We took a breather down the hallway. Yeah, get in here. Get in here. Motor, close the door behind them. Uh, of you probably shouldn't uh, trap close. yourself in here. Uh, you Wait, probably... They both left down the hall. Yeah. Did you go inside the, the room, or you stay there? No, I'm staying. I, I, you're staying. Motor, close the door like 90%. <clears throat> and the door closes like 90%. And Arla's just kind of like leans over towards like the small crack left into it. It's like, this is a little awkward, you know. Well, it'd be really awkward to get shot. 
They have guns, oh, remember? That's, that's why I came down here. I waited until they left. Right, but there's ha there's tunnels, remember? There's tunnels all over the place. These guys come from anywhere. Look, there's a doorway at the end of the hallway. It's probably not a dormitory, but I think I need your help to open it. Well, you remember how there was, like, hanging electrical wires all over the place and I almost got shocked by one? I was trying to turn uh -huh. the power off so we didn't get shocked by any hidden electrical wires. And you didn't ask the guy who controlled magnetic fields if he could help you with that room. I think you'll find that's electromagnetism and you're just controlling magnetism. Magnetism. Also, one has to wonder why the guy who controls magnetism isn't opening metal doors. <laughs> Stare. I'm trying. You have to have a certain strength of mind to be able to just wrench a door open. Look, I understand this. I'm not cutting into you, man. I know you're doing your best. Well, I assume I'm you're doing your best. Are you just gonna Are you just gonna hide out in there? No, I'm working on stuff. That's why I asked you guys to come in here, but I don't want to leave the door wide open so I can get shot in the back from down the hall. All right, well, if you don't want to work on stuff, uh, I'm going to go explore some more corridors. I feel like you're hearing what you want to hear, not what I'm saying. Maybe. But... See ya. I'll just go ahead and turn around and leave. <laughs> uh, and I'll head back to the cafeteria. Uh, Motor, can you start a list for me? Yes. What what kind of a list do you want? Uh, put Arliss and Jozer on a list. Uh, put Jozer in a green color and put Arliss in a red color. Of course. <laughs> no problem. List created. Uh, name it Associates and just like bookmark that for me, please. Of course. So she does that. This will be coming greatly handy because I have a bad memory. In character, I mean, I have a bad memory. Alright. Uh, so I... I've gone back to the cafeteria. What about you, Jozer? I'll follow. Okay. Did I get that uh, schematics, I'll... by the way, for the sensors? Uh... You want, uh, which, which exactly schematic you want? For the sensors, so I can repair sensors. I, uh, for the sens uh, mother sensors. Okay, so she displays, uh, again, a hologram showing you this schematic. And you kind of see, like, uh, many different, uh, parts that you need. Are one of these in this room? Uh, no. You have no sensors in your own control room? Ah, you are, uh, you are asking mother. Uh, yeah, yeah, says, sorry. She says, uh, no, sorry, there, there is a tool room and probably we'll find some of these uh, parts. There. No, no, I'm sorry, that's not what I'm asking. Do you have a sensor here in the control? I want to know what these look like. Uh, is this a uh, holographic representation not enough? Uh, no, because I need to know what they look like in the real world so I can, you know, generally you put your sensors in the same place in every room or in the same typical location, so I need to know what they look like in the rooms, so I know where to find them in each room. Oh, I understand what you mean. Uh, you want to salvage it from the existing equipment in the no, other room? No, incorrect again. <laughs> okay, I don't know if the, uh, the problem here is in character or out of character. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, like, imagine if you met somebody who didn't know what a security camera looked like. like in the modern time, where they're like little ball things on the wall. Okay. And then you told them they had to go find security cameras so that they could be fixed. Well, if they don't know what they look like balls on the on the ceiling or the walls or anything, they wouldn't know what to look for or where they would even be. I'm asking... Uh, so you are asking like to show you how the sensors look like? Yeah, I need to know where they're typically located so, and what they look like so that I can then find them when I need to repair them.
oh, uh, she tells you, no, the sensors themselves are not uh, damaged, but my uh, internal wiring is damaged. I cannot use the sensors at all. Well, how do I fix that? Well, I, here is the schematics, and the, my uh, wiring is in, in this room. All right. Uh, theoretically, how far away is a toolbox? I would not know. That's why I said theoretically. Oh. If you had to hypothesize... So, uh... Based on last given information that you had... So, uh... I would say it's like... Around the distance of this two hallways, like uh, like two hallways distance. I I'm just I'm telling you like two hallways distance because I'm I'm not like how long would be this? How long hall this hallways would be like? Um, you know what a thing you could do. Hold on here, freehand. Just do something like. Big old X, out in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> and then <laughs> maybe we just explore in that direction, or I will, because apparently I'm getting left behind. Uh, just throwing that out there as an idea, not something you have to do. No, I, I'm just thinking how I would explain this to you. But no, she, she cannot explain you, like, just give you, like, yeah, probably just, like, <laughs> in the different direction that you came from, you know, like, uh, this way, you know, like, or here, like you, what you pointed, but not more than that. All right, well, last thing I do before we go back over to Arliss and Joser is that I'm going to leave the room, and then I'm going to shout back in through the open doorway, Mutter, close the door! Okay, so you leave the room, and she closes the door after you. And you go through this corridor that you know that there is uh, this yeah. opening. So, uh, and then start to follow the Konami are. code that I've been given in directions. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> yeah, she, she was not able to be more helpful. So, as far as you know, there is another door here, and then there are, like, all these doors didn't open still. Right, like I said, I'll be heading off in that direction to where and I think things might be. And I yeah, don't know and if like, I pass by Arcloid and Arcloid, Arliss and Joseph or not. This but... room that you actually never checked out. Although you know that there is another hole here. Yep. With the ants are coming from. Because they were like going this way. Last session. Okay, so uh, where are you heading? You're going back to the cafeteria? I am trying to head back in the direction that seems to best fit what she vaguely gave description-wise that was completely unhelpful. Okay. So, uh, where are you, Griffin Joser? Uh, I was gonna go back to the cafeteria and then go south. Okay, yes. great.
uh, so cafeteria and then there is south door you open it and it opens to uh, a bit larger room that appears to be some kind of a storage room This is kind of interesting. Uh, what seems to be stored here? Okay, so you have uh, a few like standing things, square things, like with a with a big door that you can open. They're not locked, so you start opening them. And one of them uh, has like really neatly packed uh, boxes that contain some kind of uh, biological uh, nutrient paste. That when you open it and you taste it, it tastes like sweet, like some kind of. Uh, fruit that you cannot really distinguish what it is and they they all like you have one that is when you open them one of them is red inside and it's sweet and tastes like fruit mm -hmm. and then there is a another that is green <clears throat> and it's salty and it tastes like i don't know like spinach or something uh, so that that was one of the uh, cupboards. Another mm -hmm. one is full of uh, liquids. Uh, most of them they're uh, they're like neutral taste. They're like green, uh, not green. They're like blue, uh, kind of neon blue inside, but they have no taste. Uh, it, they seem safe to drink to you. And to freeze. Yeah. They're... I imagine Arliss is literally going through these, literally adding more and more to his hand and like taking drinks from more and more of them at the exact same time. It's like, you yeah, should really actually... try some of these, Joser. Yeah, actually, actually, uh, this, uh, the drinks are actually, when you open them, they're also in this kind of a box. Mm -hmm. And when you open them, they're like kind of a gel. And when you take this gel inside of your mouth, it kind of dissolves into this water. Not mm -hmm. water, but liquid. And you feel like a feeling, like hydrating feeling of water. But inside, it's like packed inside, inside of the box. And it's kind of a gel. It's really comp compact. Yeah. And possibly all of this that you found was meant probably to feed machines that were like uh, maybe printing food or something and not for direct consumption. But both of you are really so and thirsty. So this is kind of great for you to find it. Right. So, so you can you can carry at least one of each on you, but you notice one thing that you have no bags or anything like you can only yeah. Carry this uniform with... doesn't have pockets, does it? No, no. And these cubes, they're like maybe thirty with thirty centimeters cubes. Or I don't know what is centimeters, like two uh, inches. You did say that they were inside boxes inside of the larger packing containers. Yeah, yeah, they're like containers and then they're like boxes, you know, like small boxes. Yeah, so I could probably just like pick one of those up and just take it under arm. Oh yeah, that that you can do as well. I think each each box like this contains like maybe uh ten of these boxes. So you can take like one box 
pool of one of you can take one with water and another of you can take one with food. I'll take the one with the food. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna call that uh, water paste packs. Yeah. So there we go. So, okay, so we can at least haul those around with us in case we need to get and have food for later. Okay, uh, so... But I imagine we've spent a bit of time like literally just sitting down and eating. <laughs> And by this time, uh, Theo probably catches up to us. Okay, Theo, so you enter uh, to this room, and yeah, you see kind of a storage space. And they, they so far, they open just two of the cupboards. There are uh, two more. Hey, Theo, think fast. And I'll, like, throw a blue pack at him. I always do. Fire! <laughs> blue pack explodes in my face. Uh, yeah, you, you're covered in, in in this jelly that really fast turns into a liquid and flows like a water. Arliss will then hold up a second blue one in his hands after, like, just watching you become soaked. Maybe, given that we have no idea how many how much supply we have, don't go throwing around our stuff. Well, there's three of us, and this place looks like it was made for at least ten people. Conversely, there might be two hundred of you. <laughs> and you might just keep getting woken up after you, each of you starves to death, and I particularly don't want to delve into cannibalism, so... So does that make you less thirsty? And I'll just, like, wave the blue pack at you. You might remember I just drank, uh, what... Birthing fluid. Saline. 20 minutes ago. Yeah, but I mean, it's not that bad. Let's have some water, dude. Yeah, I know. You, you covered me in it. Yeah, now you can drink some. Humans do not drink by osmosis. Drink the water. Anyways. Please. Please. I'll take care of that. When I'm done focusing on what I'm here to do, I'm going to check a different box. Okay, so you open a different, you open another box, and there are a few things inside. Uh, in one, there is a kind of a large, again, cube type of thing, you don't know what it is, it's clearly some kind of a machine, and except of that, you can see also uh, tools, probably also meant, meant kind of uh, maintain this machine or something, but you know that you can use them as uh, light tools, so you can add this uh, to your inventory if you want. Of course, it's literally what I'm here for. Yeah, and except of that, uh... all right, so we got some food, some water, some tools. Uh is this corridor uh just a um or like the storage room actually just uh just that one entrance there's nothing else yeah. here okay. yeah it's just a small it, it's just a storage room probably made there to kind of uh serve the dining room mm -hmm. makes sense <gasps> so theo we got tools now we just need some supplies yeah so just roll one d6 for me Theo. Okay, great. So, uh, Theo, you find uh, two ciphers. Sorry, so, your volume is going down a little bit. Uh, sorry, you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, so you find two ciphers. Or uh, at least 
are they ciphers? You don't know. <laughs> uh, you f you find two strange things is there uh, also casually left inside of this cupboard. So uh, let me have you rolling two times the uh, d twenty. Okay, so it's nineteen, right? Uh, six and a nineteen. Six and a nineteen. Okay, let's do this. Let's go again. So see. Sorry, I didn't know if you meant two D twenty or two D twenty. No, it's okay. Okay, so uh, just remember that other one is nineteen. Uh, so and then one D hundred. Which is eighty three. Oh, nice. And then one D six. Okay, so let me create this one for you. By the way, sorry guys, if I'm a bit slower today, I have just a splitting headache uh, for a few days because I'm kind of a bit sick. I feel yeah, I've been going up and down, and it's been cold, yeah, rainy, yeah. and depressing over here too. No, I'm I'm like taking antibiotics because I have like a, a sore throat. I was even like I thought maybe I will not be able to play today, but I'm. Feeling much better, but oh, I just good. yeah, I just have like headache all the like in the evening. I don't know why, maybe because of the antibiotics. Anyway, uh, you rolled uh, three, right? Going to be six. So Theo, this is for you. The first one. And I'm adding this to ciphers. It's called Ghostly Intruder, but uh, actually will need to roll me uh, uh, no knowledge error, right? Is it? And it's just DC two, so uh, with or without skill. Um, if you have skill, then it's just uh, just DC one. Yeah, you do it. So you you find the decipher, and it's called Ghostly Intruder. And then we are going for the nineteen. And roll me one D hundred. Oh, it's three? Oh my god. Mm, interesting. And one D six, please. So one D six is uh, three? Yep. Okay. Nice. So this I'm going. Uh, you already cipher Teal. Say again. Uh, somebody, so uh, one of you already has a cipher. Uh, that's so. me. Yes. Oh, you do. Okay. Okay. So I'm giving this to Teal, and you can give to others. Are you changing something on my sheet to do that, or because you keep saying no, you're no, no. giving it to me? I don't. Yeah, I'm saying okay. I've been okay, typing this... it, but all I have so far is a name, Ghostly Intruder. No, 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 no. This is what I'm doing. Like you will see, like in handouts. Oh, see, I... in journal you will have ciphers. You will have, and then you will. Uh, yeah, I was trying to add it to my character sheet where it says ciphers. 
No, I don't no. see where it deciphers yet, but we might not have added No, no, I see the handouts. I'm just adding yeah, them I to don't. my sheet, though. No, just, just anybody, because uh, only he can see them. Like, I, uh, just right, I just mean that there's, whoever a, there's has a them. part on my sheet that I can add them to. Oh, instead like of I having can... three things open at once. I'm just showing you everybody so you see what... I understand. So, uh, just roll me, please, again, uh, DC2. Or, you know, one, because yeah, I'm trained. Okay, so you, you know how to use them. Okay, so this is what you found in this uh, second cupboard, so, uh, in this third cupboard. So there, there was light tools. Uh, these two ciphers, and then there is this uh, kind of uh, machine that is like a kind of a uh, big cube as well. The schematic that I saw doesn't didn't show a big cube, did it? No. Well, one of you guys can do something with the big cube if you want. Oh, I'll take a look at it. Okay, so it it's something. You you cannot discern what what is the function of this thing. Alright, so I'll just write down big cube right now then. Uh, you cannot it, it's too heavy to pick up. Like it, you oh, can okay. you can pick it up. It's very heavy. It's like Maybe like over thirty or maybe forty kilos. Throw your giant cube into the dark sphere. Um, so just by looking at it, we can't really tell what it does, but it doesn't no. it have like any kind of marking on it or anything. Oh yeah, it, it has. You can you can see all kind of uh, like notches that like. Appear like probably when it's turned on that it will assume maybe different shape or some things would like pop out or something like that. But right now it's closed. <clears throat> we could always try to take it apart for parts. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and do that. I got a toolkit now and I'll salvage it. Okay, you can salvage it, yeah. Let me. Just um, oh, do we all have toolkits now? There was a big oh, box yeah. of them, so I took some too. Oh, it was a big box of toolkits, okay. No, I thought there no, was no, just no, the no. one. Just one. Just one toolkit. Okay. But you can all use it, like... So, yeah, okay. we can pass it around. I will you hand you a handful of aluminum this. knives. <laughs> okay, so... So you want to salvage this. This will take around uh, half an hour. And I would say that is going to be difficulty five. Okay. So five and then salvage could bring it down to four and then I could effort to bring it to three. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll give it a go. And uh, I could just go ahead and sit here and deal with this for half an hour, and you two could go on ahead if you want. Or we can decide to wait a half an hour while you're doing this and use another half an hour to take another rest. Oh, do yeah, you need although, another rest? Although he cannot, like, if he's salvaging, he can. No, he uh... can't. But <laughs> we can't. Look, I have burned through a lot of pools here. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I'll go ahead and do the roll now, just to see what the okay, result's going to be. Oh, hey, I hit cool, you break it. Yeah, and not only that you break it, but you break the tools. You son well. of a bitch. Wait, was he using the aluminum knives? No, he was using the the light tools. God damn it, Arliss. God damn it. What you can do, though, is use one of your extra 
happy to reroll this or to deny uh, the intrusion? Uh, you know, I could go ahead and uh, go ahead and spend an XP to reroll it. I think that's worth it, and I have a pretty good shot at it anyway. Okay. Uh, well, still didn't make it, but I guess it didn't break things this time. Yeah, you you just cannot find a way how to open this thing. Like to... just a big box, everyone. Yeah, it, it just it's just closed, you know. Like you you don't know what it is, you don't know how to activate it, and you don't find like any kind of opening, you know. Like think of it like trying to mm-hmm. open iPhone. <laughs> Yeah. He can't spend another 30 minutes trying again, can he? Yeah, though it will be harder to then uh, go up for one. Right, I think I'll pass now that it's past the 50-50% mark. Yeah, though it, it didn't pass, like, you didn't take 30 minutes to try to open it, you spend, like, 15 minutes. It's You're not, like, crazy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But after seeing you almost break a tool, I'm just gonna take the rest of that shit. So then do you still want to just chill out here for an hour? Well, not if you only spent 15 minutes. There's no no reason right. to sit around for 45 minutes. Although now I am wondering, the schematic pieces that I saw, have I seen anything like that in the travel so far? Ah, did you see like the any any of the pieces? No, though. Uh, uh, no, no. All right, guys, this is what we're looking for, and I'm going to describe what I saw in the schematics. This will fix mother. This will fix the ability to be able to ask questions that are relevant to our survival. So we just gotta haul it back to the other room then? Yes, so that I can then try to repair. And do we know where this is? No, that's why I'm saying that you need to keep an eye out for the things that I've just described. Okay. Very well. Well, we only have one more angle for uh, to proceed down. We have many There's also angles. all the dormitory rooms if we want to really search them. There's literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different paths to go down. Not including the two that you guys already blocked off. Well, if you ever feel like crawling down into an antlion hole, uh, I'm not going to stop you. But I do think maybe we should proceed down the hallway. Yeah, um, just just to the to, east. Uh, like this is not blocked. I'm talking about the two that they blocked off with stuff. No, no, okay. I'm just like just. No, like, I know. That's why I said nine. Yeah, yeah. Just like sometimes you know, like people like see, say like, one, oh, you failed the uh, check. Three, open some door. Four, five, block, but six, don't block. seven, eight, nine. That's right. Yeah, and then the two that they blocked off. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna head down the hallway to the east again. So, Tia, well, are you gonna come open the door for us there? I've already st- <laughs> I was already leaving. Is it? I'm stopping at this door. Is it closed or is this one open? Well, I want to get you before you crawl down a hole. This isn't a hole. This is a door. Are you are you not looking at the map, Griffin? Just a question. I can see where you're pointing. Not really. I'm listening to where you're describing your being, and you didn't really say you were anywhere yet. Well, no, I I put letters on the map <laughs> to describe where we are, so that you guys yeah. can keep track of what rooms you were in. So I just assumed you guys were on the map with me. Oh, so yes, I would like to be here. Yeah, T is where I am. I could you guys not move the letters around? No, if you make them, we can. Oh, we'll make your own letters. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna. Although, <laughs> although I just, I just now realize what the letters are for, and it's a good idea. Yeah, A uh, for Arliss, D for Joser, and T for Theo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. Anyway, uh, no, you look at this door, uh, Theo, and 
you recognize this uh, locking mechanism, which will give you, it's going to be like what we said, difficulty two for you now with your asset. So was that number again? Uh, difficulty two, standard. Son of no. a bitch, I'm gonna use two points of intellect <laughs> for late inspiration, which gives me a uh, asset as well. Wait, where well, I'm I'm already on two assets, aren't I? Or aren't I? It's a question. It's a real no, question. No, no. Uh, F for you can use two. Like F for it is not the same as no, no. Asset. I'm using uh, late inspiration, which gives me a bonus asset, which is why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, okay, you can have just two, like, two assets maximum. But I'm asking, is the uh, difficulty I'm at including any assets? It is, yeah. It's How many the assets? Asset that... One. Okay, so this will make it two assets, which will push me to simple. Yeah, that's right. And there we yeah, go. Yeah, okay, no problem. You, you open it really easy, and it opens uh, in to a room that is uh, the storage room that you were looking for. It's many, many parts. It's dark, although, uh, do you have uh, the flashlight? Arliss has the flashlight. Yeah, I it? think. Uh, I thought you had the flashlight all along. Shit, we lost the flashlight somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have half a flashlight. Do you have the other? No, some asshole named Willy Wonka only had half a flashlight room. <laughs> all right. Well, between us, we, we have half a brain cell and maybe a flashlight. So, <laughs> so we can look into this room. So it opens into the room, uh, which has all these shelves and on the shelves there are like a lot of different parts and uh, kind of crumbled in one on one side of the room uh, there is a what appears to be a human skeleton it's... oh you okay there buddy yeah it, it's like <laughs> It's super old, like, really, really, like, maybe some dried skin or uh, bone, like, dried skin or, or flesh that is not, like, flesh anymore. And yeah, mummified looks... rather than decayed. And it looks yeah. like you! <gasps> no! This is as far as you got in your last saved game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and one thing as well, uh, just go and give me a difficulty for uh, perception. I can lower that down to three. Okay, great. I still can't roll well. <laughs> okay. No, you don't notice. Because the thing that killed this guy is still here. So yes, yeah, still you, beside of seeing this dead guy, uh, you actually see the parts that you're looking for. Cool, then I'll start collecting them. Arliss, start you making bone the, armor. You enter the room? <laughs> yeah, I've entered the room. Okay, I assumed so... I was in the room. No, you, I, I assumed you're like looking from outside or from the door. I'm gonna counter the D D mentality. Might want to do of, a specify. Well, no, I'm gonna counter the D and D mentality of always being on edge and say that if I don't say otherwise, just assume that I've walked in the room like an idiot, because that's what I'm thinking. Okay, but doesn't matter, actually. <coughs> um, Roll me initiative, and it's going to be a uh, DC3. Oh, 
אוקיי, 